Hi everybody here on Kickstarter. Just wanted to give you a quick update on where we are in the production of the Tiny Duino. Right here is the Tiny Duino board. Actually we've got a stack of them and a bunch more over there. This is the main Tiny Duino processor on this panel. There's also some prototyping boards. Actually there's a few different types. USB board, LED boards. First step in the process to make one of these is to put it into our stencil printer over here. There's actually one in here already. What the stencil printer will do is put solder paste down onto the board. So if you notice here, there's a stencil that's laser cut to match that panel that we just showed you. And this is completely air driven, it's kind of cool. Turn it on, it puts the blade down, there's paste on there already, you can kind of see. And he just squeegees the paste onto the board. We'll cut this off. Lifts up. I didn't completely squeegee the board, but you can kind of see it in there. Over here at the next step of the station is our pick and place machine. I'll back up a bit so we can see the entire thing. This pick and place machine is actually what actually does the assembly of the board itself. If you notice, there's tape and reel here of various components around the back of the machine. There's also a number of the bigger components. We'll go to the front, and we have a board already in its fixture ready to go. So here's a board that's got the paste on it, and we're ready to go. We'll come over here, start production, and I'll leave the lid up at first. You can actually see it go. When the lid's down, it'll go much faster. And this pig in place actually has two heads on it. Um, to speed up the assembly. There you can see the board went in. So that's our board with the paste on it. Pick and place machine is picking up nozzles. It will come over and identify the position of the board. And if you look up here, there's actually a vision system. I don't know how well you can see it, but there it identified one of the points on the board, another point, and a third point. And it uses that to correct for any offsets of the board. If you see here, it's now it's coming over to pick up a part. And it picked up two parts with the, the two heads. And now it's coming over to actually place the parts onto the board. I apologize for the light, it's not the best. You can see there it placed one part, placed the other part. You might think this is kind of slow, but again, the cover is off. I'll lower the cover. And once it places the next part, it's going to yell at me because I had the cover open. I'll go push the button over here. We'll start going rather quickly. So these are your tiny Duino boards being built right now. And I'll pause for now. Okay, so now the pick and place is done. We come over to see what came out. Notice the parts are on the boards. These are the, the tiny Duinos down here at the bottom, the USBs and LEDs. Next step take the board over to a reflow oven. This oven has seven temperature zones and we're doing lead free process so it gradually ramps up the temperature until it hits kind of the, the maximum point around this point and it reaches uh, about 250 degrees Celsius and then it cools down and it comes out the, the out end with the solder reflow. So we'll Go ahead and put the board in there and uh, then show you when it's done. Here are the boards fresh out of the oven. If we come in close, again this is just uh, on my phone so it's probably not the best. You can see a tiny Duino board, a few of them. If we come up here there's some USB boards, LED boards. And you can't really see too well with this, uh, with this phone. But the LED, or all the, all the solders reflowed. Looks really nice. Next step would be to really do the same procedure on the back side. So paste again, put the, the bottom connectors on these boards. Then once that's done, we do the through-hole assembly. There's not that many through-hole parts, but here's the big one. These are the battery clips uh, for the tiny Duino board. And kind of where we're at now, um, we got all the, all the parts in today, uh, the last part that we were waiting for. And so now we're really starting to ramp up production. We hope to get uh, quite a few of these done in the next uh, two weeks and start getting them out to you probably in about a week from now. So we're making progress, and thanks again for your support, and really look forward to getting these out to you soon.